Hey everyone, here's Andy, and this is a little sneak peek to my upcoming update for Asset Sketcher. And I want to show you what is what what is new in this add-on and um, what you can expect if you purchase this add-on now. For everyone who who already has bought this add-on, um, you will of course get this update for free, and um, I hope you will have fun with it. So, um, as usually, you can start the Asset Sketcher here in the panel and you now see I have um, a preview of the normal, of the round normal and you can place objects as usual um, and delete them this is the same as uh, before but now if, uh, uh, I have added a complete new brush engine so um, you not can only place objects at the position and um, but you can um, create a brush so with F you can scale your brush and uh, resize it uh, it's the same shortcut as uh, usually in Blender for sculpting or painting. With Shift F you can um, increase the density of your brush. So how many objects will be placed within that circle area. Um, with Control you can delete it. Um, in the next Blender version uh, the pen pressure RP has been exposed to um, BPY and this uh, lets us use pen pressure uh, with your Wacom pen and I've implemented this feature too, so you can um, uh, use the pen and p uh, paint with it and um, according to that you will have a smaller or a bigger brush you can set the scale value also with the pen pressure so if you <coughs> press very light you will get small objects um, with a stronger press you will get bigger objects so yeah, I think this is um, the main update. It took me quite some time and was a complete refactor of the core mechanics. And thanks to my brother, um, who helped me a lot with this, um, with all the math, uh, I could achieve this, um, yeah, new functionality. So um, some new little uh, add-ons add or um, new fe features I've added is the slope threshold. If you set it to one objects only will placed um, on the ground but not on a slope here so um, if I decrease this value um, yeah, objects will be placed higher and if I set it to zero they will be placed on each angle um, yeah this is it uh, I think ah okay I've forgotten um, for the brush engine itself, uh, you can also set the um, constraint of the asset distance to the brush size. So if it's smaller, um, the asset distance will be always set to the brush size. So this works pretty nice. Um, yes. Um, also, I've improved the performance of the add on. Before, I have worked a lot with the selecting objects and using Blender internal operators to manipulate them and this um, is not so fast especially if you have a lot, lot of uh, objects and um, now I am only working on the object data and this gives me much more <coughs> or much better performance and um, yeah works pretty nice <coughs> just a few last words um, to you guys who have purchased this add-on thanks a lot for supporting me I think um, if you haven't done it, I wouldn't uh, have developed this add-on um, to the point where it is now. And I think um, it's a little pressure I get from you, so I want to deliver some nice product or a no nice product. And um, thanks to your support, I am able to to achieve this. And um, if you are considering to purchase this add-on, um, I would be happy, and um, I hope you do it. I think you will get. Um, very handy and uh, great add-on that will improve your workflow in many areas so if you consider uh, purchasing it yeah I would be happy if you do so that's it for this sneak peek and um, the update will follow soon and you can get it from the blendermarket.com thanks and goodbye <laughs>